Next, let's explore the question interaction. Adding questions on Mindstamp will stop and pause the video and ask the viewer for an explicit response. The question types on Mindstamp we have are free response, let them answer anything in free form text, multiple choice, that gives them up to five answer options in button form, choose all that apply, which lets them select up to five answers at once. You can ask for a drawing response that makes them circle something on screen to call attention or highlight it. Highlight it. You can ask for a number response, a date response, video response and voice response. These two are really popular in the customer service facing industry where you might want to hear how somebody's going to react rather than just typing it out or clicking a button. You can ask for an image response where they have to upload an image or take an image. You can ask a rating question where they can give one to five stars based on your prompt. A drop down select question, which is what you're seeing here. It would be a multiple choice question with a lot of answers where you want it to be searchable rather than a ton of buttons. You can also ask Likert scale questions or poll questions. Let's go ahead and ask a free response question now. I'm going to say, what city are you from? Enter that in the prompt box. Right now we can see that this shows up at 106.7. Since questions pause the video, they only have a show time. They don't have a high time. Some question settings here we can say is, has a correct answer. We can set a time limit on the question. We can allow skipping on the question. We can read the question and answers out loud for accessibility. We can allow rewinding when this question is shown if you want them to go back and understand more content before answering. You can provide a hint. You can use conditional logic, which we'll explore in a later video, to show or hide it based on a variable. You can map this question to HubSpot to update a custom field. And you can add a custom design to this question itself. Let's go ahead and just leave this as it is for right now. We're going to press Save and Add Another. What Save and Add Another does is create another question set. The question set is going to be a set of questions all at one time without the video pausing and resuming. So after they answer that first question, let's go ahead and give them a multiple choice. And I'm going to say, what is 2 plus 2? Each multiple choice answer, let's say 2, 22, and 4. We'll give them three options here. Each one of these options can have its own individual click action. So by default, it's just going to record the answer and continue, as we see here. But if they answer two, I could say I want to show them a message that says, really? If they answer 22, I could say let's take them to math.com because they really need to review their math. And four, if they answer that, let's just show a message that says, great job. Note that any of these click actions that you saw previously can be used in these questions, like opening a link, changing time, switching to a new video, downloading a file, and more. Now we are going to say this does have a correct answer. I'm going to choose it. It's four. Um, I can make it repeat until it's correct. I can set a time limit on this. Let's say we want that 30 seconds max. If we turn some of these options don't work with each other, but we can turn this off and allow skipping. We can allow rewind. We can read the question out loud, um, provide the hint, I'm going to say easy peasy. And just like that, I'll go ahead and save it. So now you're going to see two questions pop up. What city are you from? I'm going to say Melbourne, Florida. And the next question, what is two plus two? Let's view the hint real quick. The hint is easy peasy, so I'm going to say four. We can see that it says correct. Great job. That's the message that we set it to display, and the video continues now.